Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today I will be taking you to work with me and I'll be sharing practical tips if you're injured at work. Today is my first day back from taking some time off of work. I'm really not a morning person, so I shower at night so it's easier to get ready. This might seem shallow, but one of the things that I like about being a lawyer is getting a chance to dress up. A nice suit goes a long way. It makes sure that you're always ready for court. The main reason, of course, is helping others. Currently, I work for a personal injury and workers' compensation law firm. Welcome to my office. Let's get to work. So what do I really do? Right now, I mainly handle workers' compensation cases. So what is workers' compensation? Well, basically, if you're injured at work, you file a workers' compensation claim. There's a lot of nuances when it comes to workers' compensation. You basically need to prove several elements. But today, I want to focus on practical steps that you can do if you're injured at work. First one and probably the golden rule is to report your injuries immediately. There's always a stigma for employees trying to get compensation for their injuries. Have this notion that the employee is trying to bankrupt the company, when in reality, injured workers just want their medical bills and their lost wages to be paid. It is unlikely for an employee to bankrupt a business because most businesses and employers have insurance. Further, they are protected by the law and the Workers' Compensation Act. Again, if you're injured at work, report it immediately to your manager or supervisor. Now let's take a lunch break before I proceed to the second practical step. Last night, I boiled some saba and also I cooked sinigang which is a Filipino dish. Let's proceed to the second tip. Go to a doctor and have it checked. I think it's human nature for us to take a wait and see approach. But when it comes to workers' compensation, that might hurt you in the long run. Injuries involving your neck, shoulder, and your arm are crucial because certain nerves, such as your ulnar nerve, extends from your fingertips to your elbows, shoulder, and neck. A lot of times, these injuries can develop over time. First, you feel the pain in your shoulder. Then, a few months later, you'll feel more pain in your neck. Injuries that develop over time doesn't automatically mean that it's compensable, but going to the doctor and getting a doctor's note will give you some type of evidence should you need to prove your claim as important as going to the doctor is getting the doctor's note before you leave their office a simple doctor's note such as this can go a long way ask your doctor when your next follow-up is what your restrictions are and until when a lot of times, employers deny liability, meaning they don't want to pay for the workers' time off or even pay for the surgeries needed. The ending is that employees are left with medical bills to pay and a lifetime of disability. I'm not saying that all workers are always truthful. Granted that there might be employees that are exaggerating their injuries or making up stories, but a lot of those fraudulent claims are thrown out before litigation even begins. So I hope that gave you an idea of what workers' compensation is and hopefully you also learned something if you're an employee. At the end of the day, being a lawyer is just like any other profession. Most of our time are spent trying to resolve issues and problems. We translate laws 
coats and statutes in such a manner that an everyday person can understand. You don't really need to have a lawyer to file a workers' compensation claim. You can represent yourself, but remember, the employer and businesses would always want to do what's best for the company and not necessarily what's best for you. So I normally get off work around 6 o'clock in the evening. I try to listen to some calming music when I get home. A lot of times we talk to clients that are upset because they are in a difficult situation. More often than that are workers losing parts of their bodies while working. A sudden injury that changes the course of their life and their family's life. As a lawyer, I think it's customary to maintain a certain composure even after hearing a tragic accident such as these. You can empathize, but you should avoid too much emotion that can cloud your judgment. At the end of the day, I still try to leave work at work. I center myself knowing that I did the best that I could today.